Hey everyone, so in this short tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you all how to create your own custom VS Code snippets. Snippets make it really easy to write boilerplate code, templates, etc. Now, if you've been using VS Code for quite some time, you've probably used a lot of snippets, but maybe you've never thought about creating your own snippets. So let's go ahead and do that. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's go ahead and get started. So as I said a moment ago, VS Code snippets are extremely handy for boilerplate code. Let me show you my favorite example and that is using the HTML skeleton. Now, as you can see, this snippet is extremely helpful because this is code that web developers must type very often, and if you were to type it manually, it would become pretty tedious. Now, what's great is you can actually create your own snippets, which is what you're here for, and I'm gonna show you an example that I used in the real world. So I use Markdown to take notes and write ideas down for videos that I make for this channel. And in doing so, I have actually found that I tend to write the same boilerplate markdown over and over again. So what I did was I actually made a snippet that would do that for me. Start by opening up your command palette. You can do this by pressing Shift and Command and P on the Mac or Shift, Control and P on Windows. Next, you'll want to select Preferences, Open User Snippets, as you can see right here. Once that's open, select the language. In this case, I am selecting Markdown. Here, you will see a JSON document with some notes inside of it. Below these comments, we will write a JSON object that will define a new snippet for us to use. The key is going to be whatever you'd like to name the snippet. This is going to be unique. Inside the curly braces, we will put three properties, prefix, body, and description. The prefix will be what you will type in order to see the snippet appear. The body is an array of lines of code. I will paste in my lines right here. These lines are going to be what ends up inside of the editor once I use my snippet. And the description will appear inside of the window where your code snippet is previewed. I've saved this file, but I still need to enable code snippets from Markdown as it is not enabled by default. To do this, I open up the command palette again, and this time select Open Settings JSON. Inside of the object, I am pasting in this block right here. This simply tells VS Code to enable the setting that will allow me to use code snippets for Markdown. Now let me demonstrate. Now, as you can see, this makes my life a lot easier. But let me show you a couple more tips using snippets. Let's say that I want to automatically have the description here portion highlighted with my cursor on it automatically as soon as I use the snippet so that it will be much easier for me to begin writing the description. To do this, I simply have to go inside of the body array and find the description here line. And then before the string, add a dollar sign, one, a colon, and then wrap the other end with the closing curly brace. Now when we use the snippet, description here is highlighted and ready to be changed instantly. I can also add this to each of the sections and then tab through them by ordering them from one through three like so. So now I have the ability to easily generate my template and begin editing it instantly. There are more features with snippets that can be viewed here on the Visual Studio Code documentation, which I will link to below. I highly recommend you check them out and see what you can come up with on your own. All right, everyone, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram for dev tips. Follow me on Twitter if you wanna reach out or if you just wanna hear my ramblings. And I'll see you all in the next video.